I am Samina Tariq from A Foodies Kitchen and today I'm sharing a recipe for smoked keema or damka keema and in this recipe I'm using Spanish cooking peppers but you can use any mild green chilies and I'm using charcoal in the end to smoke the keema. In the ingredients I have 1 kg of minced chicken thighs, some cooking oil, I have some mild chili peppers here which I'm going to use in the end of the recipe, turmeric powder, roughly crushed coriander, colony seeds, cumin seeds, dry methyl leaves, salt, red chili powder. I have two peeled and chopped onions, ginger and garlic paste and I have a couple of bay leaves here. Two to three blanched and chopped tomatoes. The garnishing ingredients are chopped mint and coriander leaves and some ground garam masala. We start by heating a little oil. In goes the bay leaves and the onions. Now we need to saute and brown the onions for a good few minutes like we always do in the base of all curry sauces. Onions have turned lightly golden brown and they softened a bit. I'm just adding two teaspoons of ginger and garlic paste to it. After the ginger and garlic paste, we're ready to add the other ingredients which are going to be the seasoning and the spices. So we start with salt, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of red chili powder, a big pinch of cloney seeds, big pinch of cumin seeds, two teaspoons of dry coriander, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, good one tablespoon of dry methyl leaves, After mixing these ingredients, I'm ready to add the tomatoes. Now few minutes of stirring and I'm just going to add one to two cups of hot water to cook it. Cook this masala sauce. Just going to cover it and going to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat. We're not needing a very smooth masala sauce for this dish, and the sauce is gonna get cooked with the mince as well. So you can see this to uh, tomatoes and onions, they're turning mushy, but they're still visible. So I'm just trying to mush up a bit. Now the water is reduced and oil is separated from the sauce. So I'm just adding the mince to it. We need to saute and lightly brown the meat in its own juices. We're not adding no water at all. Or maybe just a tiny, tiny splash if it start to get stuck to the base. Mince is cooking nicely in its own juices. I've not added any water whatsoever, but as you can see, there's plenty juices which are gonna help to cook this mince. And I'm going to add the peppers once the mince is completely dry. So while mince is cooking, I'm just slicing these peppers for stuffing.
as you can see I'm just going to slit it in the middle while keeping it attached to its crown so I have some ghee achar masala and garam masala here so I'm just using a pinch of garam masala to the melted ghee although you can always use achar masala for the stuffing so I'm just going to brush them inside with this ghee it gives a very nice smell when they cook For smoking the keema, we're going to need the charcoal. Now, you need to prepare the charcoal at least 20 to 30 minutes before you need to use it. So, it's better to prepare it while you're making the sauce. So I have a metal dish here and few pieces of charcoal. So I'm just going to light it. It's better to do it outside. This is how you prepare the charcoal before you start making your sauce. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So when the coals are all grey, they're ready for smoking. Now, once the water is reduced, or actually dried, as you can see there's no water left inside. It's quite dry and it's cooked. I'm adding the peppers to it. After adding the peppers, we need to steam it or smoke it. I'm using charcoal and it's better to do it outside if you have a facility available or take uh, or remove your fire alarm or your, it's gonna set your smoke alarm I'm just going to make a well in the middle so we're going to smoke this keema I have a charcoal in a metal dish and I've just added a tiny bit of ghee to it and you can always add some whole spices like cinnamon steak or something but I'm just going to gently land it inside the dish it's going to stay there now I'm going to cover it and going to let it steam for good 5 to 10 minutes on very low heat just removing the cold dish now and we're ready to serve here's our smoked keema with padron peppers just adding the garnishing ingredients which is a big pinch of garam masala and some mint and coriander leaves and it's very nice to be served with plain rice, naan or freshly made chapatis.